Welcome from the Audi Sport headquarters in Neuburg an der Donau. At the moment, we are preparing the cars for the next Rally Dakar, the 2023 Dakar, and we will unveil our new car here in Neuburg at the 1st of September. But today, we have another topic. We are talking about DTM, Le Mans, and Formula E, and we will talk together with René Rust on my left side and with Rolf Michel on the other side, our COO of Audi Sport. I'd like to start with you, René, a little bit. Um, I know you since around 20 years when you started in the Formula BMW and uh, later in the Polo Cup. Uh, what is your first impression about Audi, which you remember? Yeah, there are many, obviously, uh, but, you know, being Audi factory driver has always been something special, always in my youngest years already. And I remember when I got my first Audi, official Audi overall, I put it on and I was so proud. This was, I think, 2014, uh, basically by my first year or my preparation for the Le Mans car. I put the, the overall on and I was uh, proud uh, like, like hell. I took a picture, took selfies, sent it to everybody I knew. Obviously, this was my first uh, moment and I still get goosebumps thinking about it, uh, but these memories you will always keep. Rolf, what are your first memories about him? I think it was 10 years ago at Spa Franco Show when you met him first time. It's really, it was about 10 years ago, uh, I met uh, a very young René Rass at that time, uh, becoming the assistant to the CEO of Quarter GmbH at that time. And René and I met at the 24 Hours of Spa, uh, which you won, obviously. And uh, yeah, was from the first point on, it was a, a very good connection, even from my different angles in my career now and with René's career, we always keep in a, in a closer touch, so it was really good to see his development uh, and uh, that is my first impression that curious young man in Spa and now seeing a, a multiple times champion in the DTM. It's pretty cool. Rainer, is there any moment which you would choose as your absolute highlight in your career with Audi? There were obviously many, many highlights, but obviously the biggest memory I have uh, is a 2017 17 DTM uh, championship title. You know, from one moment to the next, I became DTM champion, and uh, literally. I mean, I crossed start finish, and I was sure I wasn't DTM champion because the team didn't really uh, set anything on the radio. And I was sure we didn't win the title, and then a few moments after, we were champion. And this is, you know, my, my first DTM title. And, you know, as a, as a grown-up uh, race driver, uh, you try to, to win, obviously, a, a major championship. And I, I was part of the DTM uh, yeah, categories so many years in, in other categories like Porsche Cups and so on and I always followed DTM and I wanted to be in DTM but I never really dreamed about becoming DTM champion and obviously then in, in 17 um, crossing the start finish line and then knew, knew, knowing in the, in the rookie year which is obviously crazy to win the title there is, is something I will always keep, uh, keep forever. Let us talk a little bit about the year before, <laughs> the evening, when you present the birthday of your girlfriend uh, and you get a call from Audi to uh, drive the car at the Sanford. How do you feel at this moment? It was also a crazy moment. Uh, I remember I was uh, on Saturday, I was uh, at that party of my girlfriend watching DTM in Sanford. And then a few moments after, uh, I got a call uh, if I want to, to come to Sanford and uh, do the race on Sunday. And I thought at first it was a joke. But then obviously um, I was, you know, I was thrilled. I said, obviously I said, yes, I want to come. But uh, in the next moment I was like, oh, uh, I've never driven the car before and I don't know how to start the car. I had no idea how to drive the car, but obviously it was an opportunity for me. So we, we drove there, uh, we did the race. In the end, it was a good decision to go there and do the race. But obviously it was just throwing somebody in the cold water, but it was a cool experience. Uh, you told me once that the Class 1 car with the five-cylinder Audi was the best car you ever drove. What makes this car so special? I think the overall package, I mean, developing the car, you know, there was so much work and effort for everybody involved in Audi Sport to bring the car on track. We had so many little issues and, uh, you know, to develop it, to make it better, to make it quicker. And then the pure power of the engine with the DRS, with the push to pass, um, you know, the grip of the, of the car, the, the, the high speed grip, uh, you know, it was just an amazing car to drive. Uh, you know, in Spa, we were as quick as almost Formula 2 cars at one point, which is, which is insane for a, a, closed, a closed car. So obviously this era was, was very special. We have another car here in front of us. This is the R18 e-tron Quattro from Le Mans from 2015. How was the feeling in this car? 
this must be the fastest car you ever drove, right? Exactly. This was the quickest car I've ever driven so far. Um, as I remember my first test in Jerez 2014, I signed the contract before uh, dri driven the car. Uh, this was actually as well crazy. But uh, I remember the day like it was yesterday, basically. I don't have a good memory, but this day I remember. Um, I drove the car and it was like a spaceship. I mean, you, you put you put on a full, full gas and the car was just, you know, because it had four-wheel drive, 1,000 horsepower <laughs> around, it was just not stopping accelerating and the straights become so short and obviously in Le Mans you know driving that car in the night um, you know against all those big names like Mark Webber, Nico Hülkenberg fighting against them and uh, being part of so much history, Audi sport history, being in Le Mans uh, it's still something uh, unreal. Is it something like a dream come true? Yeah definitely um, you know and I wish those times would have uh, you know, being a bit longer for myself. Uh, I only only lasted for one year, unfortunately. Uh, I wish I could still drive these cars in Le Mans and be a part of that history because this is the ultimate race car I've ever driven. At least we have to talk a little bit about Formula E. You jumped from the DTM car into the Formula E car. How was this switch? And I think Formula E is something very special, completely different to, to other racing series. Definitely. Formula E is a different kind of animal. Um, you know, the, the car itself obviously is, you know, is under, a bit underpowered, uh, is also not very quick, but the challenge is to really uh, nail the one lap and qualify back in the days, but also to manage the energy, which I find personally uh, is a very cool part of, of racing, to manage the energy in a smart way, and you have to look ahead always, like, uh, you know, uh, manage the traffic, manage the energy, this is a cool part of racing, that's why I liked Formula E a lot, uh, because, you know, for you as a driver, it's very challenging. I think you could talk for hours about the success, Rainy. Uh, you had with Audi, but um, this time is to speak about the reason why we met here today in Neuburg, and uh, I'd like to take over to Rolf, so it's up to you to uh, exclaim a little bit why we are here today. Well, Stefan, I think you and, and René, uh, you, you named it, um, René is one of the most versatile and most meticulous drivers Audi Sport has ever joined, uh, and I always really admired his precision, and uh, of course, also in our function, we always sit together, talking each year how one can develop. Um, René has proven several times that he's always good for a surprise in every series. So this versatility is still one of the most admirable things with you. Because you were always fast in a GT car, in a cup car, even in an MP, uh, the Formula E and of course the Class 1. So, Audi is also building up, in the case of the electrification, the whole motorsport program. And of course, René and also Dennis Rostek as your manager, we sit together and we have an open talk what we want to achieve for the future. And of course, René has some goals. He wants to set the course for, let me say, some new adventures. Uh, and at the moment, there is not an offer that Audi can do in the oncoming year. But always our biggest aim is to give the development to a professional racing driver. And I think Audi has given you a lot to develop. You paid it off in the best manner we ever could achieve. But we came to the decision that with completing this season, our professional partnership will separate from next year on, which is personally, and I'm very honest about that, it's quite hard because it's not just a driver, it's um, a long year friend, but with respect to you and your career. Um, this is um, where my function is not an easy one, um, but this decision we have made together with um, René and Dennis. So therefore, um, we'd like to give you further possibilities to develop yourself on the track, but this is just the business thing. I think the friendship and the close relation to the Audi brand and with René Rust and what you've achieved for the brand and for us at Audi Sport, that will last forever. But this is the thing why we met together to have a first, let me say, information about that and a first thank you. But uh, you would not know Audi Sport in detail uh, if they wouldn't follow some ideas during the season. But this is Stefan and, and what we also talked before. This is the reason why we met here, uh, to give the official statement that the professional relationship between uh, René and Audi Sport will be terminated by the end of this season. 
And at the end of the season, we want to show you some pictures from the past with Audi. Come closer, René. And this is René, I think a very special one because saying thank you is uh, always a thing. And Dennis, come please and join us. Uh, you are also a very important part of this whole team. So saying thank you is one thing, but I think the pictures do talk more than our words. Farewell is when everything comes to an end. A farewell is harder when another chapter closes. Farewell is just a word. But we've so much to say. Adieu, René. You were always searching and finally found a home, you late starter. But then you suddenly appeared just when you were needed and were 100% there. Everything fell into place perfectly. And he rast, he's winding it up, looking for his first victory in the DTM. The gap opens up. He's, got Ready, it. he's going for it. He's down the inside. He's going to slow the car up and make a clean exit. Can he, can he, can he? Yes, he can. Fast, faster, unbelievable. You blew us all away in the last race. What a relief. We are the champion. You did it! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone, it is our new champion, Rene Rast. You became the most successful DTN driver in the history of Audi. Rene Rast wins. Yeah! Rene Rast wins. Rene Rast wins the race. Rene Rast's fifth win of the season. Woo! And for car number 33, yet another win. Fantastic job by Rene, and what a great race. And Rene Rast has become the 2019 DTM champion to take yet another race win. Our champion in DTM, Rene Rast. And gave us a real roller coaster ride sometimes. Oh, what a joy to see that uh, Rene Rast is out of that car. Regardless in which car, performance was always your attitude. You inspire her. You motivate her. And now, with sad hearts, it's time to let you move on. We will never forget our time together. Thank you for so much, René. Adieu. Yes. Thank you for so much, René. And it's up to you to say thank you to other people. Yeah, obviously, um, it's a, a very emotional and um, difficult uh, day for me as well. Um, you know, Audi Sport has been my, my home for the last uh, 10 years. And um, obviously, we met uh, many people here, uh, many friends. Audi Sport um, yeah, grew me to the driver I am now. Um, yeah, I had so much good times here and just want to thank everybody for, for their effort. Um, you know, everybody was always behind me, helped me out. We always motivated ourselves, uh, even in the difficult times. But yeah, I'm just thankful that Audi Sport gave me the opportunity to, you know, to fulfill, fulfill my dreams as a, as a race driver. Being now a three-time CTM champion is something um, special and um, obviously still when I'm old, uh, I will look back to those times and... Yeah, just want to say thank you to everybody who was part of that uh, journey and uh, hopefully see you guys somewhere else on track. Dennis? Thank you for the time, what we have, the big emotions, what we have, uh, what we see in the, uh, what we see. And uh, yeah, thank you for the great time with you, Rene, here. It was a pleasure for me. Uh, thank you, Rolf, for the great teamwork in the last 10 years uh, when we start with, with Dieter and we finished with you today. Um, there was so much time. When, when I see the trophies, uh, uh, there are so many emotions uh, for us. I, cannot I can only say thank you. Thank you for the, for the time by Audi. And um, yeah, 
we have a lot of more drivers. With, <laughs> so um, I'm not away from Audi, but uh, yeah, it was a great time with you, Rene, here, and thank you for all. But I think the most important thing, and this is also my role, is to say thank you to you, Rene, um, as an Audi Sport driver, as a very respectful person. Um, and I think we're going to see we are all slightly touched, but um, a different chapter brings different challenges. I think together with you and, and Audi Sport, it was a combination that was extraordinary. And we keep this in our minds and in our hearts. And I think Dieter and all the others as well. Um, but there are more adventures to come. And therefore, a deeply felt, also in name of Oli Nulis, a deep felt thank to you. Um, and we wish you really all the best for your oncoming career. And I'm pretty sure this Rene Rust will always be capable for some more surprises. So take care, my friend. And uh, we're going to meet at the track somewhere. Thank you, Rene. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Rolf. I'd like to thank you all. And uh, when you visit Neuburg, you can see some marks of him outside. They will s still be there, and you will see all the cups he entered for us. And I'd like to thank you and wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. Goodbye.